This important information about mold is brought to you by your friends at the National Mold Resource Center. The National Mold Resource Center. People helping people with their mold problems. If you're like most of America, you spend almost as much time at work as you do at home. That's why it's important to have a clean, healthy, and safe environment in which to work. But many times, your employer or your employer's landlord neglects to take care of problems which they deem are small. But those problems can actually turn into very, very serious issues where water leaks left unattended can turn into mold. This is why it's important to understand what mold looks like, what water intrusion looks like, how all of a sudden the corner of the office that was clean one day all of a sudden appears to be dirty. Water leaks left unattended can breed toxic mold and hazardous bacteria inside the walls of commercial structures. Toxic mold growing inside of a structure can lead to serious adverse health effects in human beings. This is why it's very important to be able to recognize mold growth within your structure, but also understand the symptoms of mold exposure within your body. If you do have mold in your work environment, one of the first indicators will be that your coworkers will begin to describe different illnesses and different symptoms. These symptoms will have a wide range. You may notice that some of your coworkers complain of allergic reactions. Others may be complaining about a headache when they come to work. Others may have a constant headache. This can be a sign of fungal sinusitis, a condition that can produce nosebleed and lesions on the brain. Ear infections are quite common, as well as eye irritation and eye infection. Skin lesions can develop and are quite common. However, many people may develop respiratory issues such as a cough or a productive cough which produces blood or black looking debris. This is chronic bronchitis. Other sufferers may report constant low grade temperatures and chronic fatigue syndrome. While others may produce hair loss or candida albicans or a yeast infection of the mouth or vagina. Many people who have ingested mold spores report either weight loss or weight gain, severe abdominal cramping, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. People who have inhaled mold spores have been known to develop severe neurological disorders. They can range from memory loss to severe autonomic nervous system disorders and heart dysfunction. The most severe form of mold exposure is cancer and even death. If you've been exposed to mold in your work environment, you'll need competent medical treatment, strong legal counsel, and environmental experts that know how to prosecute your case forward. Give us a call today. The National Mold Resource Center. Legal, medical, and environmental help for your mold problem.